Welcome back to another great episode with Scott Nothing Adventures. I'm Corey. I'm Mel. And this is Shelby. <laughs> In this episode, we're going to touch, cover why we sold our old van and why we bought a new van. All right, we are going to start with what what happened with the Tenemai and the what was the straw that broke the camel's back, basically. Uh, yeah. A summary of life in the Tenemai for 10 months. Yeah, we, we persevered for 10 months, which was pretty good, I reckon. It was also, we knew, we, the decision was made before we went to Darwin that we wanted to upgrade to something else and I suppose it took that long from Darwin to Perth to find something. Yeah. So, and obviously there's not much between Darwin and Perth. No. So it's a long way and a lot of towns, but availability of anything. Uh, yes. Yeah. So we, my biggest problem with the Tanami and I, Mel will vouch for this, that I whinged about every single time we stopped and had to, or, or doing overnight stops, was the setup and pack up of the outside stuff for me. For people that aren't aware on the Tanamis, they have the fold out bed section. So in order to set up, you had to, I had to take off the bikes because we had the bikes on a rear bike carrier. So it was the bikes off, bike carrier off, fold the wheels down and then fold the bed area out. And then if we're moving on the next day, it was an exact opposite of that. Um, the other problem we had was, it wasn't so much of a problem. We knew this when we installed it, but was the super big Fox wing awning. We knew we weren't going to use it on overnight stays, which was, wasn't a problem. No, because we've got the car on it, yeah. so it's. It was only it was only a big problem on a couple of occasions when it was pouring down rain or really bad in climate weather, and you couldn't go outside and cook outside. But we had that luxury of having the little cooker and everything yeah, inside. Yeah, that so. was that was a bonus of having the fifteen foot yeah. ten of mine was having a sink and a cooktop inside. But I suppose the downside to being stuck inside with three people inside was the other reason why we decided we needed a bigger van was the lack of internal space. I couldn't dance in, inside. Inside the Tanami. So we had no, the only seating space really was on the bed, or they had that little the bench, lounge. little lounge across the butt wall. We had no internal table. We had a fold up table that we'd use, which once that was in there, you couldn't really move. Like it's sort bit, of, yeah, yeah, depending on how you set. You set it up one way for more space in one area, or you set it up the other way for mm. to be able to get through to the bed. And the other main reason was the combination shower and toilet. But we had a, a system in place. We had a system. That made it work. And it worked quite well. Well, originally when we bought it, we thought we would be using the external shower yes. as a shower. And then the ensuite as just your toilet vanity area. But then one trip we forgot the shower tent for the external one. And we had it worked out. Not every place you can park. Yeah, you had your water, shower water rushing back in under the caravan and then under your awning, so that didn't work. Yeah. So we used the internal shower. So we used the internal shower. It was great, but yeah, it was just the the hassle of having three showers in a row and then the last person would have to squeegee and shimmy out the shower and toilet area, so if we needed to use it as a toilet, it was there ready to go. We, so with that in mind, we were quite prepared to, when we were at a caravan park or anywhere where they had shower and toilets, 
we would use we use caravan amenities yeah we'd use if the facilities we had showers available we use the showers available which was fine if you like sharing your shower with certain creatures other people's germs yeah you know not everywhere you go is a hundred percent clean um i know you 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 they get clean. It's not the caravan parks. The no. caravan parks clean them, yeah. but it's the people that yeah. use them. Yeah, some people just have no respect. No, they just don't care. And it's just so sad. Like, I feel sorry for some of the caravan park cleaners, the stuff that they have to deal with. Some people should have some more respect. But that's a different subject. So they're the main reasons why we'd come to the decision to upgrade. Now, to fill in the long, boring drives of WA, because there's plenty of gaps in between towns and nothing, we decided to compile a checklist with all of us of things we wanted. By the time we got to the bottom of the page, it was more desires than wants, but the top was wants that we were looking for in the upgrade. So for me, one of my big musts was it had to have a DO35 hitch. They're just so easy to use. Yeah, and they're just a great hitch all out. Um, we put one on the Tanami. Yeah, we'd, we'd put one on the Tanami, which when we left, it didn't have one on it. And we had a few issues with unhitching at a few places, just because of the uneven ground. Since we've had a DO35 fitted, no problems at all. Next was, I'm saying that might. okay. A full on suite. Double bunks on the door side. Oh, so the door side of the caravan? Yep, we wanted it on that side of the van. Um, another one of mine, which I'll tick off two here, was <coughs> I wanted I wanted a dual axle caravan and I also wanted independent suspension. Just for the ease of towing and carrying the weight a little bit better and also having that little bit higher payload and less ball weight on the cruiser. We have off-grid heating and cooling. So we've ticked that with Sirocco fans, but off-grid heating is some type of diesel or gas heater, yeah. which we haven't, we're going to have to add that ourselves with this. Yeah, which we will. Washing machine. That's the noise you can hear yeah. in the background. Yeah. Sorry. Um, at the time, we wanted, we had on our list was an L-shaped lounge. We'll get into the reasons and why we didn't get an L-shaped lounge later on in the video. Um, we wanted to try and stay 20 foot or less. So we're looking at 18 to 20 foot models. Yep. Australian made. Yep. Uh, another one of mine is I would have liked if we could it wasn't a high on the priority list but if we could get an aluminium frame band I would have liked to have gone that just for you know I know each type of manufacturing process has its pros and cons I just like the aluminium framed ID just for longe longevity and not worrying about that frame rot if we do ever have any water ingress a separate fridge freezer, preferably a compressor one. A table inside. Yep. And obviously this this wasn't a deal breaker this one, but we would have liked the kitchen on the door side, just because obviously most kitchens have got the window over the top of the kitchen and you can pass things in and out. It's a servery window. Yeah, yeah, that's it, you know, so. I enjoy that in the Tenemai. You're not having to go inside and outside all the time. And it is like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Next one. Next one I'm saying that. Okay, a lithium battery. Yes. Which we're yet to do. Mm. Toolbox on drawbar which this is sort of getting, that one's probably more of a of a, a want, not a need. We thought it was a need. Yeah, we thought it was a need. But you thought it was a need. But no, I've soon realised that it's not. With the amount of storage we've ended up with this van. Yeah. 
yeah. we don't oh, toolboxes off the list uh, solar panels so I definitely had to have something that was solar panels we'll go into that further on uh, front window and like plenty of natural light I'm a big person on natural light and airflow Big bunk windows. Shall we skip one there? But this is one of hers. This is one of um, yeah the big bunk windows is Shelby's cho choice, but this one is also not Shelby's choice. But we need it because of Shelby. <laughs> what? Because she's always <laughs> wanted to go to the toilet of a night time, um, especially it, it's not a. It's not a need, but it, it, this is a want. A desire. Yeah, a desire to have a second cassette for the toilet, just for backup when we're free camping. Just so when we do have, and we've had it, middle of the night or late in the evening, the light comes on in the toilet and it's like, you know, so you're doing the old walk of shame in the middle of the night to go and empty oh, the toilet. Did that one night, yeah. didn't we? It was cold and wet. You know, did the walk of shame in, you know, I think it was nearly 11 o'clock or something like that or, or late in the evening because, you know, obviously people do get up during the night to go to the toilet and you're not, you're most aware. So, yeah, if we had a second cassette, we could have just easily went and swapped them over and dealt with it in the morning. So that's definitely a necessity. Um, Where are we up to? That one there. A door to close off the bunk area. So does that mean the curtain? Yeah. 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 Just just something that we could have our when Shelby's gotta to go to bed. Lori can still watch T V. Yeah, watch T V, do do stuff and you know, she can sort of gives you a little bit of her privacy as well. Yeah, privacy. Um, uh, Shelby. Water and grey tank storage. Yep. So obviously a van needed to have water tanks and grey water tanks. Um, we had, it was more of a want, a north-south bed. We'll touch on that a little bit later on. So we, it need to be like a home. It need to be livable and homely, mm. which... We felt like we were camping every day in the other one. Yeah. It didn't feel like our house because this literally is our house because we don't have a physical house anymore. No. No. Another one you got? Comfortable beds. Yeah. We'll do that. Yeah, we'll later. Later on, we'll cover that. Um, another plus for us. You can put this in either column and need or a want, just depend on how you look at it. An inverter. We need an inverter just so we can use the washing machine off grid and charge the vacuum cleaner and charge the computer. computers. That's pretty well much it. That's the only reason why That's we need an inverter. We so we'll we'll touch on that further on. Um, external lighting. Yep. That's pretty self-explanatory. You get sink cover, chopping, and kibble platter or nipple. Flatter. So, if nobody has picked up yet, all of Shelby's wants and needs all circle around a Jayco journey out back. She'd had... No, that's what she said every time yeah, she every said time it. she said it was just like a Jayco journey out back. She had her van picked out well and truly before me and Mel had decided what sort of van we are going to go. Um, we needed a full height van for mainly for the livability type of things ease of setup and also for heating and cooling because we just found we the tanamite was great for cooling you know you could open up all the vents let it breeze in fantastic for heating it was atrocious <laughs> you know, we had a few nights where i i usually sleep with the shirt on and shorts at the most I, one night I slept with a hooded jumper on <laughs> and I had a long sleeve shirt on underneath it and I had long pants and socks on and I was still freezing. 
So, yeah, and I have not had that issue since we've been... Uh, that's with all our winter blankets yeah, and that's stuff. that's it. Um, and last one. Um, oh, this one. Yeah. Uh, warranty customer service. So, yeah. which was more just looking at what people had to say about yeah. particular vans. Just the backup. And experience. That, yeah, the backup that the manufacturers gave you. Um, you know, we weren't sure if we are going to buy new or second hand, so we just wanted to be able to, yeah, not have that hanging over our heads that we're just going to buy something and that was it. They just wipe your hands clean. They got your money. See you later. So that was our checklist that we'd written in the car and we were going to try and, you know, tick off vans that we'd looked at, like we are scouring caravan sales, Facebook marketplace, all the different sort of avenues. And we would just reference back to this when we'd find something that sort of ticked some of our boxes or looked good. And then we could easily just go, nah, or yeah. Yeah, or no. yeah. Now we're gonna cover the all the different vans that we considered. So early on in the piece, when we first started looking and talking about buying a new van, we were contemplating about buying just a van without bunks early on in the piece, weren't we? Oh, that was before I, the straw broke, yeah. the cap, my camel's yeah, back. Yeah, way this back, was... yeah, way back early, we were, we were looking at, we were contemplating about buying just a couple's van that could also convert the seating area into a bed. But we soon came that, didn't we? We worked out that we needed the ex the extra space and to have Shelby have her own sort of area. And we could have our own area as well. So a couple of brands that we looked at and that were fairly high on the list, we, some of them are probably were out of our budget, but we were still seriously contemplating them. Because it was a house. Yeah, because it this was... This is our house. Yeah. Uh, we were prepared to... Spend that money. A bit more. So, we originally looked at Kedron's. Um, awesome build quality. Probably the biggest thing that we didn't go with the Kedron was just the overall weight of them. Like, they're built like a tank and they weigh like a tank um then we looked at a couple of zones we'd sort of we looked at the new sojourn, so, sojourn model one which i think is the i can't remember now which one was the bunk model one but yeah we'll, we'll look, we looked at them We'd use their online calculator and all that sort of stuff and sort of spec'd it up. And look, the, to be honest, the price wasn't too bad. For what you got, it wasn't too bad. But to be honest, the main reason why we crossed zone off the list was the insurance. That's what we've discovered. You've, you've... You might be able to afford the upfront costs of the van, but you need to look at ongoing costs such as insurance, yeah, which like, we're glad we did. Oh yeah, we we were close to pulling the trigger on a second-hand zone um, that we'd found, but we did, like Mel and in all her wisdom, like me, bullet a gate, let's do it. Mel's the smart one. When, Financed. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Um, she said, check to see what the insurance is going to cost us and I'm so glad we did. And then we also spoke to a couple and found yeah. out yeah. that the there was a couple available and yeah. they were all overpriced for their yeah. year model. For, for, for what they would have bought them for. They the, marked the prices up so that was that's another thing. Yeah to be wary of. To be wary of if you're buying second hand. So especially with the current market like people are getting these stupid prices but it's like the house market, yeah. the caravan market is just... Yeah, we weren't, we weren't prepared to pay that much money. Like on a second-hand van, I would have... If we are going to go down that track, I would have waited and bought a brand new van. 
Yeah, for the prices for the that price they that are asking. But the insurance on the difference was probably three times more than what we're paying for oh, this. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's it was pretty scary to be honest. Uh, we looked at Marvel. Um, obviously, new for those was out of the question. We're sort of looking at some secondhand ones. Uh, we were also looking at. Uh, Is it Elias or Atlas? Atlas, or Atlas which is just a, a a new new brand, which also worries me because obviously in this market that there is, there is just so many different manufacturers of caravans out there. It worries me when the bubble bursts and everybody goes back to normal life and the and the demand for caravans drops way off which is going to are these all these manufacturers still going to be around so that was another thing that we wanted to tick off with the brand that we went was obviously it was someone that was going to be around long term new age yeah new age we looked at new age um there's a few reasons they just didn't fit our wants and needs as well as mm, we had walked into a new yeah. an actual new age yeah. uh lot and yeah. they weren't interested in serving us so that didn't make a good impression of the company yeah that, uh, that was yeah that was a big thing wasn't it yeah walking into like lots and seeing what the service was like yeah. just walking in yeah and, and even like i, I sent multiple companies emails asking questions about availability and all that sort of stuff and to be honest there was one company that got back to me and that was the company with the atlas the atlas guy was really and good. he was fantastic um i'd have to have a look up and see what dealership he was from it was a dealership in victoria yeah yeah but yeah he was fantastic he was great and we nearly bought we nearly put a deposit yeah, on one I of those uh, but we really wanted to have a look at it beforehand. Uh, retreat, we looked at retreats. Yeah. Was it Supreme or whatever? Yeah, we looked at the Supreme. One linked in with Supreme. Yeah, Supreme and Leader. Mm -hmm. We looked at those. They they ticked most of our boxes. Um, but yeah, so that was. Oh, and obviously, the uh, Jayco. Jayco was was on on our list as well. But that's pretty much all the brands we looked at. A lot of them got crossed off the list just because of availability and we couldn't get much information or It was hard help. because we were in Darwin and then on the west coast. Ninety yeah. percent of the market is on the east coast. Yeah. Yeah. So there's heaps of heaps of options. But in saying that also a lot of the prices of the vans on the east coast were probably the dearer ones too that, mm. that were marked up. And that being said Majority of that ninety percent are either Queensland or Victoria. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. And now, well, someone's got food stuffed in their mouth. Why we chose this particular van? So we'll quickly run through the checklist and just quickly tick off everything and sort of group things together. Um, so obviously this van, we'll tell you a little bit, bit about this van to start off with. It's a 2022 Jayco Journey Outback 19.61-3 is its model code. So that obviously that means it's 19 foot 6 and it's the bunk version of the, the Journey Outback. It has the electric awning on it. It come standard with AGM battery, one solar panel on the roof, the DO35 coupling, four Sirocco fans, the toolbox, slide out toolbox on the front door side of the van. Tunnel boot. Tunnel boot, that's the word I was thinking of. Obviously it's got the projector management, power management system in it. Separate shower toilet, 3.3 kilo washing machine. Yeah, roughly, I think. Yeah. Oh, no. It's either 3.3 or 3.5. Yeah. 
It's at least three kilos. Yeah, that's it. To, by what I can work out with, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think they're 80 or 90 litre tanks. So two water tanks, no grey water tank. I was for aircon. Yeah, I was for air conditioning. Um,
Now, in conclusion and overall, sorry, I'm trying to read Corey's handwriting upside down. Um, what I'm are a, we doing? I'm a doctor. That's how good my handwriting is. I'm a doctor. Conclusion and overall. Yeah. I'm going to say that's as much as I can make out of two sentences, two words. Take it away. I don't know. Oh, yeah, no, we're just going to touch on, like, now we've been in this van for two weeks. Two weeks, woo! Yesterday. Two weeks yesterday. So, and to be honest, like with yesterday, it was the NRL Grand Final. Woo Go Newcastle! Yes, yes, in the NRLW, they done well. Um, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Yep. <laughs> the, we were stuck inside the van all day. It was, we knew it was going to be a yucky yeah, day. Yes. But so it was perfect it for was, watching yeah. football. So it, and it was a good rundown because if we had the old Tanamai, we would have been at each other's throats. We probably wouldn't even have television servers, maybe. No. I don't know. So. No, we had internet. Yeah. I don't know. So overall, for the livability, in the first two weeks, this thing ticks the boxes, doesn't it, hun? Yeah. Tick. Livability. Tick. 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 Yeah. tick. House. I feel yeah. like I'm um, in a house now, yes. I'm not camping every single day. Yeah. We have a, a spare bed. Yeah, you know, we're not on top of each other. It's um, my guest bed. We can, yeah. two of us can be sitting at the table doing two separate things. Someone, if they want to watch TV, they can either sit on the lounge or lay in the bed. Um, Shelby's got her own little space, she can go and climb up on a bunk and watch you know, read a book or watch a Last movie on a tablet. She did um, yeah, colouring in. in. You know, we've got room if we have anybody stay over or have a visitor. You know, so if any of the older kids ever <laughs> come and, and say hello, you know, we've got, a, we've got a bed for them. Sorry, we don't work, so you're paying for it yourselves, yeah. guys. Um, the dog can fit in here, oh, but yeah. he doesn't anymore for yeah. some reason. Yeah, well, that um, was... The dog's got issues. Yeah, the dog's got issues with the van. I don't know what it is, but he refuses to stay inside. No, the first four nights he went fine. But now he just and refuses now... to stay inside. We've tried, so... Unfortunately for him, he's stuck outside in the cold, wet, rainy weather in his little tent, which he seems to love, so... Yeah. Yeah. He's happy to be zipped up all night with no water and not being able to go to the toilet in it, but... He won't stay inside here. Not anymore. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. So, but yeah, overall, we're loving it. We have not regretted our decision no. one bit. We've become shower snobs. Yes, we have. <laughs> I always said that we, we wouldn't be those people, but we have. It's just yeah. great. You... you just have a shower like I Can like to have a shower I like to have a shower before I go to bed you know where before well it's a like I take Shelby to the amenities with me so some places we can share a cubicle some places you can't full stop and then there's the issue of your shower head and water pressure mm. there was one place we were at I showered and I went I definitely won't be washing my hair here. I'll be washing my hair in the caravan because the wa there was no wash. Like, you couldn't wash the soap off your body. The water was that bad. It and there's like cold showers. Yeah, I had a week of cold showers because we were staying in a place that the water would just get. And he wouldn't complain to management. Uh, wouldn't for complaining. I just don't Us know. Us girls enjoyed hot showers. Yeah. But it was hot weather anyway. So yeah, so it wasn't too bad. But, it, yeah, I still do enjoy it. A hot shower, even when it well, is the, hot. No, when the lights go out halfway through a shower. Yeah, you know, just, just, go, and, and, you know, or, or sharing a shower with frogs or spiders <laughs> or, you know, frogs. Yeah. I, I, I could share a shower with a frog, no problem at all. But I draw the line <laughs> at spiders. I've got a thing with spiders, so yeah. And you couldn't share it, share it with any crit creature, no. could you? And for it's been our, entertaining. you know, obviously we've downsized, downsized on our outdoor area. 
you know. It's still large though. It's still quite, it, yeah, it is larger than what comes standard with the Tanami, but it's not as big as what the Super Peg awning done. But it's, I do love, like obviously everybody's seen the dramas that we went through with the Tanami and the awning. Not everyone has probably. Well, yeah, folding over the top and causing an absolute mess of the awning. But to be honest, that was the problem with the awning. You, you couldn't put it away quickly. It wasn't a quick setup or pack up. Where this one, if we want to go away or the wind turns pretty bad like it did the other day, we just five minutes, pop some poles, ropes down, press the button, the awning's away. It's just so simple. Mm. Yeah. Because um, we're now paranoid. Yeah, oh yeah, overly paranoid. Just... Ooh, as soon as it hits 20 km an hour, it means that's it. It gets packed up. But towability the cruiser loves it we haven't worked out what the fuel economy is with the new van having only, a full height van we've only towed it three times yeah. but then even though we've got a full height and slightly wider van it's lighter it's also lighter so so far our fuel economy is still in that yeah that's... 17 liters per 100k so more so, towing yeah we'll, and time we'll, we'll tell. the cruiser doesn't know it's there it tows a lot better than the Tenamai did. Not that we had any issues with the Tenamai. Well, we had no issues no. towing the Tenamai. You let me do that. Yeah. But but this just this is just so much more stable. Obviously, touching on it, it has the the tow the sway control and all that sort of stuff built into it. So that's a good safety feature. But yeah, overall. My biggest bonus is we set up and pack up in... Oh, my God. Like that. We're lost. We're still yeah. very lost. It's like, what yeah. do we do now? Yeah. We sort of set up and it's just like, I can't take this. It can't be we this We can quick. sleep in. We can sit down and have breakfast on pack up days. Yeah. We can wash up yeah. on pack up days. So, we're loving it, to be honest. Just absolutely loving it. Oh, it's been a complete game changer. We're, yeah. we're to, to, to be honest, Thumbs up. we're enjoying ourselves again. It was getting to that stage where... Uh, we were at each other. Yeah, we, we were constantly bickering and arguing with each other. All three of us. Yeah, not just, not just yeah, us. All three of us, just, just because we were in each other's space all the time. We, yeah, but now we're, it's great. We're and the rigmarole of set up and back up. Yeah, yeah. Every day. So, it, it's a bit of a long, drawn-out video, but I just thought we'd do it. Some people... So, Corey's going to edit this one. Yeah, this, this is why we have a whole production. Yeah, that's it. Today. <laughs> it's trying to be professional. Yeah. It... This video might not be for everybody, but we just thought we'd put it out there. Some people might like it. Some people... Probably won't. For our ten of my friends yeah. and our Jayco friends. Yes. New Jayco friends. So we would love to hear from all our new friends, our, all our new Jayco friends. Let us know what mods we can do, what we should look out for. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But other than that, thanks for tuning in. Please please subscribe and like this video and feel free to put a comment down below because we really really would like we've got to the 700 subscribers milestone so now we want to kick it on and see if we can get to that thousand